The year was 1867. The place was Ohio, a state in the Midwestern region of USA. A very special boy was born. His name was Wilbur. Four years later, in 1871, Wilbur's little brother Orville was born. Thanks to these two boys, we can now fly painlessly from one part of the world to another. Fly! They were the Wright brothers and they invented the first motor-powered airplane. Did you know Wilbur and Orville were best of friends. They loved to build machines together. In 1878, Mr. Wright, Wilbur and Orville's father, gifted them a very special toy. The toy was made of cork, bamboo and paper and its motor was a rubber band. The boys called their toy the bat. And you know what? They played with it all the time. Too much play, I suppose, because it broke. And then they made another larger bat. It flew for a second, but then it crashed. But you know what? The brothers never gave up on the idea of being able to create a flying machine. In the year 1900, they decided to go to a place called Kitty Hawk in North Carolina and they wanted to try out flying. I think this will fly off. Kitty Hawk is one of the windiest places in America. Yes, let's keep our fingers crossed. And uh, plus the sand here makes a soft place to land. I know, I know. Who are you guys and what are you doing here? Uh, I'm Wilbur. And he's my brother Orb. We have come here from Ohio to make flying machines. Uh, and who are you? I'm Tom Tate and I live here. Really? Can you fly like a bird in the sky? <laughs> yes, yes, of, of course. course. Please, can I try? Please, please. Uh, come by here tomorrow and if it's windy enough, then we shall try. So, did Tom Tate manage flying? Tom was strapped to the machine Wilbur and Orville had made. Up, up, up he went. Tom was high over Kitty Hawk. He kept going higher and higher until suddenly the machine started shaking up and down. And Tom came crashing down. Oh no, that sounds terrible. Did he get hurt? Uh, no, no. He landed on soft sand. He was a bit shaken, but he did not get hurt. The brothers needed to do some more work on their flying machine. It wasn't quite ready yet. So they decided to go back to Ohio and return the next year with a promise of a better machine. This is the biggest glider built ever. Yes, the wings are longer and more curved than the last time. Uh, let's just hope these wings help us stay up longer. Good luck, Good Will! Good luck! Good luck. <laughs> oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, thanks. Are you alright? What happened? Nothing, dear. It's, it's... Still not safe. You're not giving up, are you? No. Never. We will work on it and we will come back next year. Wait for us, Tom. Wait for us. So, did they go back the next year? Oh, yes. They made a new machine with different wings. They made them longer and narrower. And they even added a tail for balance. Sounds interesting. This is the machine we want. We can control it. But, uh, brother, there's still one thing this machine lacks. You know, this machine still needs the wind for us to be able to fly it. Mm. Yes, and so we will need to put an engine on it. And then it will fly by itself. Yes, and then... We will have done something that no one has ever done before. The year was 1903. Wilbur and Orwell brought back yet another flying machine to Kitty Hawk. 
but something went wrong with the propellers. Orwell had to go back to Ohio and bring new ones. But when he came back, there was a crazy storm coming. The winds were mad. It was impossible to fly. And what about the boy Tom? Was he still around? Yes, of course. And his father had told him to strictly stay away from the camp. He didn't want his son to get hurt. Oh, of course, it was too dangerous to fly. But did he listen to his father? Well, Lord, are my friends. Sorry, Dad, but they need me. Well, oh, the weather is terrible. Be careful. Tom, you came. Thanks, buddy. We're going to fly today. Who are all these people here? Uh, oh, they, they are rescue workers. They've come here to help us. Come, Tom, give us a hand and help us all pick up the machine. Be careful, guys. The wind still howls, but I'm sure you would be able to do it. This is it all. Good luck. You'll do it. Come on. As Orville started the engine, everyone held their breath. The wind was getting worse and Orville would take off right into it. The machine started to roll down the track. First, it moved slowly against the wind. Too slowly. Just then, the machine began rising. Rising up into the air, it jumped up and down like a crazy bird. The machine was flying finally. Everyone let out a big cheer. The machine flew only for 12 seconds and went up only 120 feet. Wilbur and Orwell made Four flights in all that day, with their longest flight lasting 59 seconds, covering 852 feet. The Wright brothers had made history. For the first time in history, a machine controlled by a human being flew under its own power. We did it! We did it! Yes! We did it! Yes! I always knew you would do it! We flew and Tom helped us. When will you let me fly the machine, Will and all? We're going home now for Christmas, Tom, but we will be back. Hooray! I will fly the machine when they come back. And I will fly it all the way to the moon. <laughs> that boy Tom Tate made a prediction about flying to the moon way back in 1903. So, did he ever fly to the moon? No, he didn't. He flew in an airplane only one other time. But he didn't stop believing in being able to fly to the moon. And in 1969, 66 years later, when astronaut Neil Armstrong landed on the moon, he honoured the Wright brothers. He carried with him a piece of cloth from the first pod flying machine. The one that made that first brave flight on the cold and windy morning of December 17, 1903.